Bless the children in the world. This is your Father in heaven speaking with you now. Through this servant, my maid servant, I come to give you a message, my child, to to warn you of times of trouble, Yanakashiki danger in your world. Alari anakoshiki tiki anakateki ana. Just as you are filled with the Holy Spirit, there are many who are walking the earth. Kianahashiki tiala harit barakri anakash. Do not contain my Holy Spirit. They are influenced by evil. Yanakashi, they are evil men, evil women. They do not see me, they do not hear my voice, they do not walk in obedience to my will, they do not love me. So many on the earth are rising up on this day. Children, Allahu who do not know me. Selfishness arises on the earth. Pride, arrogance, rudeness. Oh, Kriyana Kashikiti, my children, come to me this day. Reach out your hands and place them in mine. Begin to sing, dance, worship your God. I am the all-knowing, omnipotent, omnipresent God of creation. But there is evil afoot in your earth at this time, evil in the hearts of man, evil thoughts and intentions, intentions to harm and murder, to hurt my children in the world. There are so many who despise my Christians on the earth, so many who rise up in anger and hatred, in jealousy, misunderstanding. My children do not attack each other. Christians in the world, what are you doing arguing and bickering with each other about this and that, about my holy word? Children, the world is watching what you are saying right now and you are arguing amongst each other. You are being rude and unkind towards each other. You think you know everything there is to know about me. You know nothing, my child. You think you can interpret my holy word, my intentions, my scriptures. Oh, Makashiki, you are misleading my children on the earth through your misinformed information, your wrong theology. You think you are right and you are being rude and condescending to my children on the earth because you think you know better. You think you are wiser. You think I speak with you one on one, my child. I have asked you, my children, in my holy word, to not judge, to stand united together as one in the body of Christ. My children, enough is enough. Stop your condemnation. Stop your rudeness. Do not dishonour my children on the earth. Those who speak forth in my name, those who are called according to my purpose, My child, the world is watching your arrogance, your harshness of words, your bitterness of spirit, your anger. This is not a reflection of your God. My child, repent this day and be saved. Be filled with my Holy Spirit. Go back and read my Holy Scriptures and I promise to speak with you, to lead and guide you. To direct your path. My children, I want you to rise up in kindness this day. In all situations, be kind to one another, especially those who belong to the family of Christ. Support each other, love each other, help each other. 
bless each other. If there is a need, I want you to bless anyone who is in need. Yanakashikiti, I will bring people to you who are in need, which you must help in my name. Christians, I want you to all rise on the earth this day in love, not hate. I wish to pour out love to those who do not know me, who are not yet saved, who do not believe. I wish for you to be a faithful ambassador for your Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, a representative for me on the earth. I do not want to see you arguing on your Facebook pages, your YouTube channels, correcting my servants on the earth, thinking you are wiser, showing off in the sight of your peers. Be humble this day, my children. Repent, fall to your face now before me. Ask for my mercy and forgiveness. You know who I am speaking to. You know if this is word is for you. You know if you have hurt my chosen children in the world, other believers, my Christians. You know if you are rising up in hatred and not love. You know if you are deliberately hurting people on the earth through your words, through your opinions and thoughts, because you think you know my will and my way. Do not put me in a box, my children. Do not try and fathom your God, the mysteries of God, the mysteries of my spirit. I will speak to the world how I wish to speak to the world. It is not for you to discern whether I speak through this servant or another. It is not for you to discern how I speak through the interpretation of tongues, through the gifts of the Holy Spirit, through words of wisdom and knowledge. Who gives you the right, my child, to go forth and contradict my children in the world who hear my voice so clearly? Not just these two servants, there are many on the earth who are speaking forth a message in my name. Who are you to condemn and mock and judge and rise up in self-righteousness thinking you know best? Repent this day, my child, for I am watching you. I see your arrogance and your pride and your condemning words. You are shooting arrows at my believers and I will not stand for this. Be careful, my child, not to blaspheme the Holy Spirit, the eternal sin. It is my spirit that speaks to you now. Not my children on the earth, but my Holy Spirit is pouring forth a message upon the earth. And if you speak one word against these words, you are blaspheming my Holy Spirit. The Spirit which lives and dwells within my children. My children, this is a warning for you this day. Be careful what you say. Rise up against the enemy of this earth. Rise up against the devil. Do not rise up against believers. You are one in Christ. You are forgiven and set free through my grace. There is nothing you can do to deserve my favour upon your life except believe and repent and be saved in Jesus' name. You are no better than anyone else on the earth. You do not have more knowledge. Everyone is given the same knowledge. Everyone has a Holy Bible in their hands. And if you are filled with the Holy Spirit, then I will discern the words for you. I will explain my words. I wish for this arrogance and mocking spirit 
to be released from you now, my child. Repent and turn from your wicked ways. Reach out to my fellow believers in love. Support them. Encourage them. Lift them up. Do not tear them to pieces with your words, your self-righteous acts. My child, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are on the earth to be speaking forth such words unto my holy Christians? I have called you to love and love greatly, exceeding abundantly. Love, my children. Hold back your words. I am watching you this day. And I am protecting my servants, the prophets. There are so many arising on the earth who hear my voice and wish to declare my messages, but they are being attacked. But the worst thing is they are being attacked by fellow believers, fellow Christians who think they know all things. I am revealing unto you now the mysteries of God. Things you do not know, things which may not be explained in my Holy Bible. New things are coming out of my storehouse. Prophecy. I am revealing unto you the kingdom of heaven. Things that are not written in my Holy Word, but are still real, are still part of your future, are still going to happen. Do not limit your God to the words I spoke 2,000 years ago when I am speaking to you now also. Do not limit your God, my children. I do not wish for you to add to my Holy Bible, but I am revealing a message to you in this day for this generation, and I have revealed messages in every generation. I will never stop speaking to my children because I love you and I want to walk in relationship with you. And this is why my Holy Son came to the earth to defeat the works of the devil and to open the floodgates of heaven for you to walk through into my courts with praise and thanksgiving, to stand before my throne and worship, to stand before your Father in love. Jesus came and died and rose again for the forgiveness of your sins so that you and I might be one in spirit and truth. You might be holy, without blemish, washed clean, white as snow. He died so that we could walk as one together in this lifetime and the next. You have been forgiven of your sins if you have repented in every way from your heart. Not just words, shallow words. Not just prayers written by somebody else. But prayers spoken with a contrite heart, a broken spirit, a childlike faith. I know the deep intentions of man, the thoughts, the hidden thoughts of man. Why you come before me. Do you really love me, my child? Or are you just pretending to love me and know me for accolades on the earth? For your self-esteem? Wishful thinking? Trying to secure yourself eternal life? But not really knowing me? Not really caring for me? Not really praying to me? or understanding my holy words, my holy Bible. Be careful this day, my child, for I am watching you. I am watching your mocking spirit. I ask for you to come towards me now, on bended knee, confessing that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Saviour, repenting of all sin, and I, I ask, my child, that you do not Mock my children on the earth who declare my holy words. You are not on the earth to cry out heresy, false prophecy, to condemn those I send. I have promised unto the world a last message. Read my holy Bible and see. 
Nothing will happen until I have delivered this last message to its full. I am delivering my message to the world this day and I am asking for all to listen, to obey, to seek after me with all of your heart, mind and soul, for there is nothing else, my children. I am the great I am. I am the living word of God. I am the creator of the world and lover of your soul. There is nothing else, my children. Everything else will pass away but your eternal soul. And your eternal soul will stand before me one day in judgment. All the days ordained for you were written in my book before one of them came to be. I know the beginning and the end. I know what you will choose to do this day. My child, it is already written, but today you have a choice to follow me, to follow my son Jesus Christ, or to walk away. Whatever you choose is just recorded in my book, my child. So I know already what you will do. But still you must make this decision this day to follow me or to walk away. I love you, my child on the earth. Worship me in spirit and truth. Worship me with all of your heart, mind and soul. I wish to enter into a deep relationship with you that will last for eternity. Put away the old self. Be born again, born anew, a new spirit. I will place within you my Holy Spirit. My Holy Spirit loves others. My Holy Spirit loves the body of Christ. Believers, those operating and ministering in my holy gifts. I have prepared a place for you in my heavenly realm. You just need to reach out and receive it, my child. I have a plan for you on the earth. Focus on this. Focus on my plan for your life, my child. Do not get caught up in the ministry of others. Do all I have placed you on the earth to do. And I promise to equip you with every spiritual blessing under heaven, with every material and financial need. The whole purpose of creation is to reconcile man unto me, to wash you white as snow, to forgive you of your sins, and to dance with you in paradise eternally. I am with you this day, my children. Ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. Love greatly this day, my child. This is my command unto you. Love your fellow man. You are not the judge of man. I am. My Holy Son Jesus will judge the living and the dead. We are one, my child. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. And one day you will stand before us in judgment for your soul. Do not find yourself before me unforgiven of your sins. Repent this day and change. With all of your heart wish to change. To be holy, transformed into the image and likeness of my Holy Son Jesus. Your Saviour, your Lord and King. Come to me this day, my child. Place your hand in mine. I promise to walk with you forever. I am your loving God in heaven. Bless you this day. In the name of the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen.